Hi everyone, I hope you're all safe and well. Uh, today we're going to be doing another unboxing video from a company called Creatures from the North. However, before we get started, I want to say a massive thank you to Steve from Tarantula Tastic Enclosures, who created the intro that you saw at the beginning of this video. Thanks for doing that for us, Steve. It's much appreciated. Uh, Steve creates some fantastic custom-built enclosures. Um, go and check his channel out. I've put the link to his channel in the description below. Um, subscribe to his channel. Watch the videos. It will give you some fantastic ideas on some things you can do. Without a doubt, some of the best enclosures out there. Okay, so now we've done that, let's get cracking with the unboxing. Okay, so we've had another delivery today. So this is a mystery box that I've ordered from uh, Creatures of the North. Um, it's a little bit smaller than I was expecting it to be. There should be some packs of decor and stuff in here as well. Um, and given the value of the mystery box, I was expecting it to be a little bit bigger. However, I'm going to take that to mean that uh, this is quality over quantity. So I'm not expecting to have a huge amount of spiders in here. However, I am expecting uh, there to be some potentially fantastic stuff. So without further ado, let's get cracking. Okay, that's absolutely spot on. So for, for any of you that's been watching the videos, you know I'm a massive coffee addict. Um, so I've now got uh, a nice new um, mug, which uh, I can drink copious amounts of coffee from because that's what I run on and that's how I function. So wow, mega. Thanks from uh, thanks to the guys from Creatures from the North for an absolutely fantastic uh, freebie there. I didn't order that, so that, that's from them as a freebie. Absolutely spot on. Right, what have we got? So, first of all, wow, okay. So, first things first. Uh, first one on there. Um, Therophosa apophysis. So, we have a pink foot Goliath bird eater. Absolutely spot on. I can see some little pinky feet. Let's have a quick look. Oh, that's quite a good size as well from the looks of that. So, right, we're going to get that one out and uh, get it into a new little home in a second. Looks good. So, next we've got the Formictopus atricomatus, which I believe is the Red Island bird eater. So, nice, big, defensive, new world terrestrial species. So have a quick look and see. Ah, oh, there you go. Our little guys in the bottom there. That's that's not a bad size either. It's about the size of a about the size of a fifty pence piece, two pound coin maybe. Mega. Good start. Oh, we've got a Formictopus auratus. This is one I'm not overly familiar with, so I can't tell you what the common name is right now. Um, but again, like the rest of the Formictopus genus, it's going to be big, it's going to have a cracking personality, um, and probably some beautiful colours and markings as well. Oh, look at that, beautiful. Again, not a bad size at all. Um, little juvenile there. Then we've got a P Metallica, Podkilotheria Metallica, one of, without a doubt, everyone's favourite Asian arboreal, uh, the Gooty Sapphire Ornamental. There we go, just in there. Again, not a bad size. Um, grown on sling coming on to juvenile beautiful 
Then we have Harpacteria Polshrix, which is the golden blue leg baboon, which is absolutely, totally one of the top on my wish list. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful old world species when they get a bit bigger. Well, this guy is, yeah, that's quite a big one. And he's just trying to get out of that hole. I'll wait until we rehome that to give you a better look. And finally, another one of my absolute all time favorites in terms of Asian um, species and old worlds is the Chilobrachis species electric blue. Absolutely stunning electric blue, blue earth tiger. So I am absolutely over the moon with everything that's arrived. So, wow, um, I'm almost speechless. Um, all I can say is absolutely, like from the bottom of my heart, thank you very much to the guys from Creatures of the North. This is absolutely spot on. Um, obviously, we can work out individually from the website what all this stuff, this stuff is worth. I'm not gonna tell you what I paid for this mystery box, but what I'd like you to do, is but have a guess at what you think this potentially works out to be or how much you think this mystery, mystery box would cost. Um, and we'll do it as a little bit of a game, see who gets the closest. Um, but yeah, so for me at the moment, that's uh, six, six new tarantulas. Absolutely every single one, you know, well up there on, on my list of, of stuff that I want to keep. I, I mean, I did send them a list of what, you know, the sort of stuff that I keep, a few of the ideas for things that are on my wish list, and they have absolutely outdone themselves. Packaging is absolutely spot on. Absolutely no problems with it. Really, really impressed. Um, mug, decor, spiders. Yeah, today is a very, very good day for me. Um, I've been excited, ready to do this uh, little unboxing, and now, now we're here. And yeah, so uh, to the guys at Creatures from the North, thank you very much. Absolutely spot on. Um, we'll definitely be recommending you to just about everyone that will listen. So. Right, now let's go and get these guys sorted into some homes. Okay, so I've been away, I've got some enclosures ready. So we're gonna start putting these guys into their new homes. Uh, so we're gonna start with the uh, Therophosa Apophysis. Uh, so we've got a nice little enclosure there, plenty of deep substrata, lots of leaf litter. Um, I don't have a water bowl in there at the moment, but there, once I've washed up some milk bottle lids and stuff, we're, we're gonna put a small water bowl in there for it. Next one, we've got the Harpactera Polcrex. So again, pretty simple little setup for this one. It's a little bit more arid. It's not quite so uh, humid in there. Plenty of ventilation in the tub. Um, and lots of sort of decor and stuff to for it to make some web. Definitely one of my favourites, if not possibly my favourite of all the baboon species. Okay, next up we've got the Formictopus atrecomatus, the Red Island Bird Eater. Again, nice simple little enclosure. Next 
next up, we've got the Formictopus auratus, which is uh, the Cuban bronze. Next, we've got the the Kilobrachis species electric blue. small enough to pop in there to coax her out either so I'm gonna do this one which is pop it in there and let her come out on her own when she's ready and then I'll take the pot away afterwards and then finally we have our little P Metallica just there perfect okay so that's all of them all in their nice new homes okay so a fantastic mystery box there from creatures from the north i know i've said it already but i'll say it again now a little bit more eloquently thank you very much for that guys i'm absolutely blown away that you've taken the time to consider my likes and dislikes and, and even thrown in a few items off of my wish list um absolutely could not be happier with everything that i've received um really looking forward to watching these guys grow on a bit um, you came to me highly recommended and I will be recommending you to a lot of other people in the future. First class service, top class packaging uh, and yeah, just there is no more I can say about it. You know, you guys are now my favourite online tarantula supplier. Um, once again, I'd like to say thank you to Steve at Tarantula Tastic Enclosures for creating the intro for this video. Um, thanks very much for that. It's much appreciated, Steve. Remember, everyone, go and check out his channel. Subscribe. Watch his videos. It will give you some fantastic ideas for enclosures in the future. Um, as always, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Stay safe.